It has been a long-running debate about the necessity of an international airport on the island. The prospect has been proposed over the years by several administrations, including back in 1989, when the Dominica Freedom Party revealed a plan drawn for an international airport with alignment from Woodford Hill Bay to Bottom Wesley near Sophia Bay. In 1998, the United Workers Party also had a plan drawn for an airport with alignment further inland from behind Woodford Hill Village near the Woodford Hill Agricultural Station to end behind Wesley at the back of the former St. Andrews High School. In the new era of the Roosevelt Skerritt led government, several mentions have been made on the construction of an international airport once in December of 2013 when the Prime Minister said Chinese engineers were in Dominica to visit the proposed construction site of an international airport in Compton near Kalabishi and to offer advice to the government and again at the Dominica Labour Party rally in May of 2014 when Skerritt indicated that his government was actively pursuing several projects including the construction of an international airport through the boat, build, own, operate and transfer op option with a team of private developers from China. Most recently, the Prime Minister, speaking to a group of peace farmers at the Northeast Comprehensive School, reaffirmed the government's commitment to the airport. I give you the assurances that this government is doing everything possible to build an international airport here in the Northeast. Skerritt announced that plans for the construction of that airport are in the pipeline, with a special presentation to be made soon. It will be the first time saying so, we have not said so to the country before, that we have in fact engaged an international firm, an American firm, to do all of the studies in relation to the international airport. And they are coming down to do a presentation to the cabinet on the 21st of April 2017. On the the Douglas Charles Airport was closed on Thursday afternoon due to inclement weather conditions.